Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to a quick video on, Ga on Gala. Excuse me. Um, wanted to do a quick video on that. I mean, we saw some bullish momentum earlier today. Um, it's been a bit of a quiet day in the markets as well. So I, I, I saw Gala moving up a bit. I mean, in terms of in terms of the technicals, not much has 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 happened since my last update. I think I last covered it on the, on Tuesday. And what I said then is that Gala had a bullish breakout, of course, which is great. Gala right now is bullish. Uh, but that uh, resistance was also found at uh, 3.15 cents and that it was most likely that it would retest support. And then from there, we would see whether uh, Gala could, could continue going up higher towards uh, 3.4, 3.5 cents. And then afterwards, uh, who knows how high. So I just wanted to do a little update. I mean, like I said today, uh, Gala has been fairly strong. It's in the it's in the top six gainers in the top 100 in the last 24 hours. Uh, so I saw that, and that's well, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to cover it. I also know a lot of you uh, hold and trade Gala, so so I thought it was valuable. Um, but what's also interesting is that uh, well, Gala obviously had a ton of momentum when it got that bullish breakout uh, the 5th of December. All right, so then you can see that the open interest uh, spiked up towards 78 million twice. And then after that, the momentum dropped down a bit. So that usually means that the price will drop down, consolidate, and then from that consolidation, we would see again. And uh, last video, and I still hold that belief, um, I said that I, I felt like it was more likely that after that consolidation, which the, the main support level, which uh, Gala can consolidate on top of, is between 2.75 and 2.9 cents, but let's say 2.75, 2.85. Um, I thought it was most likely that after consolidating there, it would eventually uh, rally again and then up to 3.4 and 3.5. So in general, that's still what I expect. All right. It's just, um, yeah, I, I think today serves as a, as a bit of confirmation because what we've seen today is that the open interest started rallying quite a bit again, uh, not up to $78 million, which it was, like I said, which it was the 5th of December, two days ago, but relatively high. So that's, um, yeah, to me, to me, that's, that's confirmation. I don't think like I expect a bit of bearish momentum from Bitcoin here. Uh, so I don't necessarily think that Gala will break above 3.15, which in the end still is the main price target, which we need to break above. I don't anticipate uh, Gala breaking above 3.15 today. Like I said, I think the I, I think the overall market is is not strong enough for that. Uh, but I do think this is confirmation for the fact that Gala will probably drop back down, consolidate, and then eventually um, we don't even need a strong Bitcoin for that. I mean, Gala overall is quite uncorrelated actually, but that eventually Gala will um, will break above 3.15 and rally up to the to the price target at 3.4 and 3.5. That's, uh, well, that's kind of been the market structure for the last couple of weeks as well. So that's, uh, yeah, it, it's just, I'm anticipating this market structure to continue. And uh, like, I do see a way in which this could change and that this is the top, uh, but then then Bitcoin would need to drop down quite severely from here, right? If, if Bitcoin starts, like if Bitcoin falls down towards, uh, towards 42,000, that's fine. If Bitcoin starts dropping down towards 40,000 and potentially even lower, then uh, I might start to question this. But uh, but I'll keep you updated on that, of course, then. All right. So for now, those are my thoughts. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, uh, thank you for watching. See you all in my next videos and uh, bye.